or knife. Hey, Facebook friends and Evangel friends, we're here with you in our various homes and I uh, wanted to say hello. Sorry, we're a little late coming on. We had a little bit of technology issues. Um, hopefully you can hear us now and uh, we're good to go. But we wanted to lead in a little bit of prayer this morning. And uh, for us at Evangel, we always want our prayers to be dictated or informed by scripture. And so today's scripture that we're going to be looking at is Psalms 93. And uh, Psalms 93 says this, the Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. Indeed, the Lord is robed in majesty and armed with strength. The world is firmly established. It cannot be shaken. Your throne, O Lord, has been established from long ago. You yourself are from eternity. The mighty oceans have roared, O Lord, the mighty oceans roar like thunder. The mighty oceans roar as they pound the shore, but mightier than the violent raging of the seas, mightier than the breakers of the shore. The Lord above is mightier than these. Your royal decrees cannot be changed. The nature of your reign, O Lord, is holiness forever. As I read that passage this morning, I, I thought of a song and want to want to give you that song today. So after we're done praying with you guys, uh, that you would listen to it. It's called "So Will I," and uh, in the song, it, it talks about how the world speaks to God, and uh, because of His throne and His Majesty and His glory, because He established it from long ago, and uh, just a really great song. I've been listening to it this morning. Um, and I uh, wanted to give you, you that song. It's So Will I, and the song's by Hillsong Worship. And uh, our family really loves that song. And so we put it on the Alexa often. And uh, you can look it up on your computer also. But we want to take some time and just think about this idea of God being in control, God reigning. God has established this world a long time ago. His decrees don't change. Um, what he says goes. And we want to thank him for that. Let's pray. Father, thank you so much for this day, for this morning that you've given to us. And Lord, thank you that we can trust in your reign, in your authority. Uh, Lord, that uh, there is nothing that escapes your notice. There is nothing um, that catches you by surprise. We're just so thankful that, uh, Lord, you're the one that has established this world and you're the one who watches over it with a careful eye. And so, Lord, this is um, not something that uh, is new for you. This is not something that, um, Lord, that you are, are not aware of. And so we just cry out to you this morning. And uh, Lord, we, we want to uh, just uh, trust in you in, in a deeper way. We want um, for you to be known in uh, a much broader a sense that your fame would spread and Lord we pray that you would help us today um, to, to make that happen to be your servants in that to um, trust in your order trust in your authority and so Lord we we thank you um, that we have this opportunity through technology to gather and and to lift up your name together uh, Lord I, I pray that you would Help us uh, to do our jobs well. If we're working from home, I pray that you would help us uh, to maybe reach out to our friend or two uh, today as well and just catch up with people, see how they're doing. And Lord, for us to be looking for those opportunities to, to talk about our hope in you. Um, Lord, we, we trust uh, when things are beyond our control and Lord, most of the time the reality is they are, um, that we can rely on you. And uh, Lord, we, we thank you for that reality. We thank you that uh, your throne is established in Christ's name. Pray, Amen. Amen. God, we thank you for just the way that creation acknowledges who you are. As we read that, uh, even as loud as the pounding rains can be on the shore, and the thunder and the waves on the breakers, Lord, that that you are mightier than all of that. And God, we just want to rest in that today. We just pray that your Spirit would surround us, surround our families, surround our hearts. Uh, surround our neighborhoods and our community and just let us rest in the fact that you are all around us what you've created is good and we can see glimpses of you in that lord as as the sun is starting to come up this morning lord it's just a reminder of who you are that you're with us that this is a new day that you've made uh, we can rejoice and be glad in it because of who you are 
You've sent your son Jesus for us, Lord, and we can celebrate in that. We can rest in that hope that he gives us, a hope for a future, a hope for us to, to come to eternity with you at some day, Lord. And so, God, we just pray that, that we would use today to bring you some glory, to bring you the honor that you're due. God, help us to just find our rest and our comfort and our solace in you. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. God, we are part of your creation. We're so thankful that you, God, are uh, our God and that you knit us together in, in our mother's womb. You know us uh, by name. You know the sound of our voice and you delight in hearing uh, from us. God, as we pray to you throughout the day, God, we ask that uh, you would hear our cries, you would hear our prayers. And uh, God, I'm sure that there are some out there that uh, have family members who are sick right now. And uh, we want to lift them up to you right now, God. We want you to, to be with those who are sick, be with those who uh, need healing. We ask for healing for them. We act, understand that you are the great physician. Uh, God, you are a God of your promise. Um, God, we're thankful that when you speak, it's not in vain. And uh, there's no syllable or empty word that you have. Um, all of nature and all of silence, science, uh, they follow the sound of your voice. And uh, God, we're thankful for that today. We trust in you. And uh, God, as we go about our day, God, we just ask that we would, we would trust more. Uh, we would trust in your reign, that your reign is out of your holiness and out of your goodness and out of your love for us. And uh, God, we just ask that uh, we would see just a glimpse of who you are today as maybe we're taking a walk with our families, uh, that we would see your creation that, and think that you spoke that into existence uh, through your very words. And uh, God, that we would, uh, we would enjoy uh, what you have given us today, that uh, we would rejoice and find joy in the day that you have given us today. And uh, we pray this in your son's name. Amen. 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 Well, great. Uh, Thanks for joining us, guys. We'll be back tomorrow at 830, hopefully, um, in the morning. And <laughs> Pretty uh, we'll close pray. to it. Pretty close to it. So <laughs> thanks for listening. And uh, we'll we'll see you guys soon.